Good morning and welcome to your daily spark. You know, peace is an important thing right now in our world. James chapter 3 verse 18 says this, people who work for peace in a peaceful way plant a good crop of right living. See, the principle for peace is the same as the principle for crops. Never underestimate the power of a seed, just a word of peace. The story is told of a young man called Heinz. It's a good example. He lived in Europe in 1934. Uh, he lived in Germany. And Hitler's plague of anti-Semitism was infecting the continent. Some would escape it. Some would, many of course, would die from it. But for 11-year-old Heinz, he would learn from it. He would learn the power of sowing seeds of peace. See, Heinz was a Jew. And in the Bavarian village of Furt, where, he, where Heinz lived, he was being overrun by Hitler's uh, young thugs. And Heinz's father, a school teacher, had lost his job. Recreational activities had ceased for Jews. Tension mounted in the streets. And as the clouds of persecution swelled and blackened and people could see it was getting worse, the streets became filled with these Nazi thugs. Hitler youth roamed the neighborhoods and they were looking for trouble. And young Heinz, you see, he learned to keep his eyes open. And uh, he saw, when he saw a band of troublemakers, he would try and kind of try and step to the other side of the road or disappear down an alley. Sometimes he would escape a fight. Sometimes he got beaten up. Well, one day in 1934, a pivotal confrontation occurred where Heinz was approached and he found himself face to face with this huge Hitler youth bully. And a beating appeared inevitable. But at the time, he was able to work, walk away unhurt, not because of what he did, not because of how he fought, but because of the words that he spoke. He didn't fight back, he spoke up and he convinced the troublemakers coming against him that a fight was not necessary. You see, his words kept the battle at bay and Heinz saw firsthand that the tongue can create peace as well as war. So while Hitler used his words to incite anger and to, to hatred and violence and this sort of stuff, Young Heinz learned the skill of using his words to placate and to avoid conflict, not to create it. Well, fortunately, Heinz's family escaped from Bavaria and made their way to the United States. And as Heinz grew up, his name became synonymous with peace negotiations. He was the, the number one man in the world for peace negotiations. His legacy became that of a bridge builder. And he'd learned uh, at an early age the power of a properly placed word of peace. One that is, uh, you know, it came at, at the expense of some pretty heavy training back there in Bavaria, but it became a tool that he used all of his life for peace. You don't know him as Heinz. You know his anglicized name. He changed his name to Henry. His full name was Henry Kissinger. Never underestimate the power of a word of peace into a situation. As you go into your day, use your words for good and for peace not for stirring up dissension and evil. God bless you. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.